passing data from parent to child is pretty easy. You can just pass it as a prop. But what if you want to pass data from child to a parent? Turns out there is a way to achieve just that in Svelte. Okay, so I've already written some basic code for us so that we can jump directly into the concept. So you can see we have a list of to-dos and then we're just looping over them. And we also have a to-do form. Now if you go to the to-do form, you can see it's just a form with an add to-do button and the input. So user can type anything and it will be tied to the to-do content over here. But how do we send this to over here, to the parent? So one way you can do is by creating a function, you can say const add to-do, which is a function and you can just say content which is a string now don't worry if you're using javascript you can just omit this and i'll just say that to do is equal to to do's and then the content because obviously we have to reassign instead of just pushing it for svelte reactivity to work so what we can do is we can pass this function to the to the child as prop so you can just pass it so add to do you can say add to do and over here we can accept that as a prop so we can just say export let add to do and then whenever we submit this we can call that function so we can say add to do with the value of to do content to do content and uh, this should work now the shortcut trick for this is you can just put this so basically if the property name and the value is same you can just put it like this and it will work just fine and if you go to our browser and check the app let's see if it's working or not okay so this is our app so if i just type something and add the to do yes it's working Yes, that's working perfectly. Okay, so now instead of parent passing a function which the child will call in a later time, what you can do is let the child dispatch an event. Now, for example, when you click a button, you get the click event. For example, I create a button and then you can listen to the click event. So when I say on click, then you just specify the function over here. So whenever the button is clicked, so the click event is dispatched and then the function what you specify inside will be run as simple as that so now you can create our custom events and dispatch them so we can listen to them so we can just say like on for example to do create so whenever this to do create event is dispatched the function specified inside will be run easy so how do you actually dispatch this event? Because obviously this is not a native HTML event. You have to create it using Svelte. So for creating it, first of all, let's get rid of this prop. We don't need the function prop. And obviously we'll not pass it over here as well. And uh, we'll not have over here as well. Okay, so first for dispatching an event, we need a function for dispatching. So, so we'll create the dispatch function. So we can import from Svelte and we have to import create event dispatcher. And then we can just say const dispatch is equal to create event dispatcher. So this dispatch function will dispatch our custom event whenever we want. So in this case, whenever this form is submitted, we want to dispatch the event. So we can just say that dispatch and then for there are two arguments first is the name of the dispatch like obviously we, we need to know because this child can dispatch hundreds of events so we need to know which event so we can distinguish and listen to them accordingly so in our case i named it to do create well you can name it anything you want but i think to do create looks reasonable so i'll name it to do create and then the data you want to pass. Now this data is completely optional, but we want to pass the data, right? Because we can dispatch this to do create 
event and uh, so now we can pass this data the to do content so this can be added over here so i'll be passing this data over here you can say to do content now it doesn't have to be string you can pass an object as well it's completely up to you okay i'll be passing object for this demo but you can pass string numbers anything okay so whenever this form is submitted is it dispatches this event called to do create and then we can listen to this event so on to do create so whenever an event is dispatched you get the event object right like for example in the button for example you say on click and this function has access to the event object right and this event object has multiple properties like event or target etc now we are dispatching an custom event so we get a custom event over here event and this event has a property called detail and that detail is what we pass over here so we passed an object with key as to do content so what we can do is we can extract that so we can say event dot detail and that detail dot anything so over here we are passing to do content so we can just say to do content over here now if we passed this as a string then obviously it would just be to do detail like this but since we are passing it as an object we'll just say like this so we can just say event dot detail and this detail is what was passed by the child and we have the to do content over here now instead of doing this we can we have a custom function called add to do so over here instead of taking content over here we can take the event object and then we can say that we need to add instead of content we can just say event dot detail dot to do content so now this should work so just make sure you're passing the function so over here let's confirm whether it's working yes it's working so let's do a quick recap so just like any events in html like the click event the resize event the hover event we can dispatch custom events in svelte now to dispatch that first of all we have to import the create event dispatcher and we get the dispatch object i mean the dispatch function and then we can call this dispatch function whenever we want so in this case we are calling this whenever we add a to do so this form automatically gets submitted when we add a to do so it dispatches this and this dispatch should have a name so i'm naming it to do create you can name it anything you want and then optionally you can pass data so in some cases you might not want data to be passed just simply dispatching the event and you can totally do so but in our case we want to pass data that is the to do content and then i just passed as an object so so the function we can listen to it like on to do create now literally you can dispatch hundreds of different events so you can listen to multiple events like this so on something or on something like this. so you can listen to multiple events but we are only dispatching to do create and then whenever this to do create event is dispatched this function is run now this function gets the event object and that event object has the detail now in this detail you get all the data that was passed so over here we pass an object with to do content as the key so we just using dot to do content and you get the value so in this add to do we are just adding a to do and since we were looping over here we get a new to do every time an event is dispatched and that's how you pass data from child to parent in svelte